this Red 3 Games preview is brought to you by lynda.com. Hey guys, Tara here. It is day two of GDC, and I just had the chance to check out Monochroma. This is a game that was kickstarted last year from a Turkish developer, Nowhere Studios. And if you've seen a video of it, it looks kind of like a weird cousin of Limbo. Everything is black and white with little smatters of red. And it's a really interesting game. Um, I think part, one of the most interesting things about it is the story. It takes place in sort of this 1950s dystopia setting. Um, you are a little boy and you have, are carrying around your little brother who has been injured. And you're sort of just wandering through this world in a rainstorm and all these warehouses. There's a company in this setting that seems to be up to some fishy things involving robots and children. It's actually kind of an exceedingly dark story, which is interesting for a game like this. Um, but I think the story is going to be one of the standout features of this game. It is a puzzle platformer. Um, it's not quite as unique as I was hoping in that regard. There is a lot of basic platforming elements like pushing objects around. Um, there's a lot of tight platforming sequences, which is typically fine in games like this, although I feel like the platforming here is maybe not as tight as it should be to accommodate for those tight sequences. Um, a lot of that is also perhaps because we were playing on mouse and keyboard, which is not the ideal uh, setting for the, this kind of game. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the story is going to be one of the standout features. Um, the, there is sort of this weird element uh, with the gameplay where you have to carry around your brother, but you can only put him down in areas where there is light because he's afraid of the dark. Uh, there's also some interesting elements involving rain, where uh, you will use the rain to your advantage. So I see when I look at this game a lot of elements from different games. Obviously, uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is seems to be an inspiration for this. Uh, visually, uh, it seems to be inspired by Limbo. And then there are sort of some elements here and there from games like Rain, which is another game that I played last year. So I have kind of mixed feelings about this game. Again, we played a pretty small slice of it, but it seems like the aesthetic of the game and the story are really going to be the standout features of it. They do say on their Kickstarter website that they are trying not to rely on trial and error. I don't know if I necessarily believe that after the time that I spent with it. It did seem like there was a lot of trial and error gameplay, which is something that doesn't particularly please me when it comes to puzzle platformers. But again, this is a small slice of the game I played, and I'm sure there are many more excellent things uh, to be seen in it. So yeah, this game comes out next month, actually, uh, April 2014 for PC, Mac, and Linux. And if it looks like something you might be interested in, then you should definitely check this one out. We've seen a lot of great games here this week, and if you've ever thought about creating them, then you got to sign up for Linda. Linda is an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative, and business skills. You can learn anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace with courses in things like web design, 3D animation, programming, and more. Membership starts at just $25 a month, but you can try Linda free for seven days and support Red3Games in the process by signing up at lynda.com slash Red3Games.